Hey boys and girls, um, right now I'm looking at gizmo number six. It's called Ocean Tides. Um, before we get started looking at the gizmo, remember tides are the rising and falling of the ocean levels throughout the day. So the key word is it's throughout the day. So there's going to be Earth's rotation involved because rotation happens throughout the day. And you're also going to have the pull of the moon's gravity. The moon's pulling against the Earth, and the Earth is also slightly pulling against the moon. Um, but you're going to have that moon's pull of gravity involved as well. That's very important. Um, so if we look at the gizmo, the Earth is in the middle um, on the gizmo. And then we have the sun on the left side. You can't see it, but it's labeled sun. And the moon's going to be on the right side. So currently, the moon is closest to kind of this right area of the Earth over here. So since the moon's the closest to that side, that side's going to experience a high tide. You can kind of tell that they have the water level bulging on this side. Let's keep in mind that the oceans aren't really rising off of the Earth. That's just showing you that the water level is bulging um, in that area. So this side of the Earth would have a high tide that has that man on that side. So if we look, since it has a high tide, the guy is on this side closest to the moon. Um, if we look at the water level, it's currently 5.9 meters for a high tide. So 5.9 meters for the high tide. So the water level is rising here because the moon is closest to that side of the earth. Now, if we continue and press play on the animation, eventually the earth is going to rotate. As it rotates, if we stop it about right here, um, you can see that the guy is no longer on the side of the earth that's closest to the moon. Um, instead, he's rotated and um, he's over here now. And since that side is an opposite, this would be a low tide side of the earth. So if we look at our water level, it went from 5.9 to 3. So we went from a high tide to a low tide on that side of the earth because they're no longer directly closest facing the moon. Okay, remember we started when the earth was, his position was over here, but he has since rotated to this position. So now it's a low tide, all right? So we've gone down about three feet in the, the water depth. Um, if we also take a look, we've also noticed that about six hours has gone by. It's about six hours between tides, give or take. So six hours have gone by and we've gone from a high to a low tide. Okay, now if we continue this and we allow it to go a little bit further, now the guy is back in a high tide situation again. Um, if we look, the water level went back up to 5.9 um, because he is on the opposite side of the earth that also experiences a high tide. Uh, this can get a little confusing, but keep in mind that the side closest to the moon and also the opposite side always have high tides. Um, opposites are the same. Um, we have our low tide in the other locations. So another six hours went by, we're now here, and it's high tide again, okay? So six hours, we went back to high tide. It's about six hours between each. So if the pattern continues and we play it again, about another six hours, um, give or take, we're back to low tide again. So the water level's down to three. So we went from 5.9 to three, back to 5.9, back to three again. And if we continue, another six hours will go by and we're back to high tide again. Actually, a whole day has gone by at this point. Um, so we went from high tide to low tide to high tide to low tide in a day. So we got 24 hours in a day, six hours, give or take, between each tide. If you noticed, again, the Earth is rotating, so the tides change throughout the day. As the tides are changing, the water level is either rising or falling, rising into high tide, falling into low tide. Of course, you have your in-betweens as well as the water's rising and falling. Now, there's one more thing that we haven't talked about yet. Um, as I erase this, as always, there's special situations. So if I reset the gizmo, this is where we started. If we notice, we've talked about this before. Right now, the sun, earth, 
and the moon are in a straight line. Okay, whenever the sun, earth, and moon are in a straight line, and we know that this is going to result in either a full moon or a new moon phase, whenever they're straight, we have special tides. These tides are called spring tides. And no, they have nothing to do with the season spring. But when it's a spring tide, the tides are stronger than normal. Okay, so they're more powerful tides because the sun helps with the pull since they're in a line. So, for example, in a spring tide, the high tide would be a little bit higher than normal. Um, if we take a look right now, the, the spring tide, it's 5.9 meters for the high tide. Um, if it's not a spring tide, that would be a little bit weaker. But spring tides are stronger than normal and they would be during the new or full moon. Um, we also have situations where the moon, earth and sun are going to be at a right angle with each other. So that situation would be something like this. If the moon is either here, okay, that's a right angle, or down here, that's another right angle. So I'm going to go back to the one up here. If I stop it here, we will notice that they're now at a right angle. They're not a straight line anymore. That's a right angle. If the moon's down here, it's also a right angle as well. These are called neap tides, neap. Um, and these are the opposite. These are weaker than normal tides. So during a first quarter or third quarter moon, when we see half of our side, the tides would be weaker, which means a high tide, if it's weaker, would be a little bit lower than normal because it's weaker. Okay, so spring tides are stronger, neap tides are weaker. Now, what I want you to do is you now have some time that I've shown you some things that you can play around with the gizmo yourself and you can observe how the water levels change, high tide to low tide, spring tide to neap tide. Let's also not forget that besides the earth rotating, which it does daily, if you also look closely, the moon is also revolving around the earth. I can actually make it go faster, but I, I can actually click on it myself and move it. This moon going around the earth takes about a month. Okay, so as the moon goes around, you will notice that that bulge, that high tide is always on the side that's closest to the moon. So high tide is closest and also furthest away. The other two sides are supplying the water. So of course they shrink in for a low tide. Okay, hopefully that helped to clarify some things and I hope you have some time to play with the gizmo yourself as well. Uh, to see kind of how these changes happen.